Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create this 3D style text animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. As you can see, the text looks very dynamic because we will be using a lot of different effects to achieve the final result. So make sure to stay tuned throughout the video so you don't miss out on anything. But before you start, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and be sure to follow me on Instagram at dope.motions and Nikhil all the links are in the description below so without any further ado let's jump straight into after effects and get started all right guys so here we are in after effects let's start by creating a new composition let's call this title underscore zero one this is going to be our text placeholder let's set the width to three eight four zero and height to one zero eight zero 30 fps is fr frame rate set to 30 fps and duration is set to 10 seconds press ok let's select the text tool and type in whatever text that you want type in i'm going to type in motions okay align this into the center now let's add a very simple and clean animation to our text so to do that i'll jump into the text properties go into animate and i'll add a position property and i will also click on add property and let's add an opacity property let's set the position to minus 150 and opacity down to zero go into the range selector and i will animate the start property create a keyframe at the very start then go to two seconds and let's set this to 100 then i can select the keyframes and press f9 to ease ease them or right click keyframe assistant and ease ease go into the graph editor you can right click and select edit speed graph select this point and drag it to the left like so so that we have a really nice animation now in order to add another secondary movement what we can do is I can go into animate and let's add another position property so now we have animated two and in the position at the very start i'm going to set this to minus 50 create a keyframe go to two seconds and let's set this to zero then select the keyframes press f9 to ease them or keyframe assistant easy ease go into the graph and let's give it a same curve so now we have a secondary movement as well which is very simple but looks very nice so our text animation is ready now we can start building up our scene so i'll create a new composition let's call this animation zero underscore zero one let's drag in the title composition so here we have our title comp let's give it a nice color so go into effects and presets search for fill effect double click to apply that and then let's set this to a nice blue color something like so that looks good and then go into effects and presets search for an effect called minimax this is one of those effects that we will be using a lot in this particular tutorial let's uh, set the radius to around four and set this to alpha and color and then in order to extract the strokes out of this um, layer what we need to do is use a set matte effect and invert the mat so now we have this nice strokes and we have this really nice looking animation now let's go ahead and create that extrusion effect that you saw at the start of this tutorial so in order to achieve that we won't be using any 3d uh, you know native 3d elements or materials we will be using a very interesting technique we will be using a lot of different effects which you will see as we proceed with this tutorial so right click and create a new adjustment layer we can call this extrude and the first effect that we want to use here is the transform effect. So go into effects and presets, search for transform, double click to apply this. And now we need to do something that you would think I'm going crazy here. So first of all, let's set the rotation to minus 308. Okay, let's set the anchor point to 1080. And this one to around 2457. And just copy these properties on the position as well all right then let's duplicate this press ctrl d so now we have transformed 2 and set the anchor point to 
10, 50. And then we can adjust the rotation in order to bring the title back in the center. So something like that. Now, if we go into effects and presets again, add the minimax effect and place it in between these two transform properties. First of all, let, let me hide the transform two and one for now. And let's just focus on minimax because this effect will help us get that nice extrusion. So let's increase the radius of this to around 30 should be fine. Set this to alpha and color and set this to just vertical. So right now you can see we have that extrusion, but it doesn't look the way we want. So we need to give a position to this extrusion. And that is the reason I'm using this transform properties. So if I turn this on now, you can see we have a proper extrusion going on right here. So if we animate this, you can see we have a proper extrusion in one particular direction. Pretty cool, right? And that is the look I am going for. But we also need to animate the anchor point because right now you can see it, it's extruding from center. So we have an extrusion happening at front and back and I only want the extrusion to appear at the back side. So to achieve that, I'll go to around one second. Let's set transform to anchor point property back to 1080. And I'll create a keyframe. I'll go to two seconds and set this to 1050. All right, let's hit U so we can see the keyframes. Let's set the minimax to 30. Create a keyframe on the radius. Go back and let's set this to zero. So now you can see we have an extrusion happening at the back only. And that is the look that I'm going for. So I can select it, hit, hit U. I can select the keyframe. You can easy ease them. And then go into the graph editor and I'll create a peak in the center to achieve a really interesting movement. And there you go. So that is the base of our extrusion. Now let's make it look a bit more funky and give those nice retro feel to it. Now in order to add a little bit variation in the colors, I can use a fractal noise effect on this. And let's place it above transform two. Let's go into the fractal noise properties, set the fractal type to dynamic and increase the contrast to around 125 and bring down the brightness to let's go with something like minus 25. Also, I'll bring down the complexity down to one and then change the blend mode option of this from normal to overlay. So now we have this nice variation. As you can see, I can play around a little bit with the transform. So unlink uniform scaling. And let's increase this to, let's say something like 200. Now let's go into effects and presets and search for an effect called CC composite. Double click to apply that. And this will help us achieve this nice corner borders onto our 3D extruded text. So let's set the composite original to sell out alpha. Bring that down to zero. Let's duplicate this, press control D. Set the composite original to in front and set this all the way up to 100. And then I can duplicate this, so create a bunch of copies. So that looks very nice. And then finally, I will add a cartoon effect on this. So let's search for cartoon effect. It's a built-in effect in After Effects, a very rarely used effect, to be honest. Let's set the detail radius to around 10 and the detail threshold to around 20. Let's increase the shading steps to around, let's go with something like 20 and also increase the shading smoothness all the way up to 100. All right, so we have this really nice look. I can set this to auto so you can see the final result and that is looking pretty nice. Let's bring down the threshold to 1.5 and also increase the width, I think, or bring down the width to around one. I think 1.5 was too intense. Let's increase this to around 90 person the softness and that is looking much better I think so now we have this nice cartoon style retro feel to our text now let's duplicate our title composition press ctrl D bring that on the top and then we can get rid of all the effects so I can just close them up delete them now let's add some nice color to our text. You can keep it white if you want to, but let's use a, a subtle pinkish red color here. So I'll go to effects and presets, search for fill effect, double click to apply that. And let's give it a nice light pinkish tone. 
and in order to get a nice gradient over this fill effect what we can do is select the layer right click and go into layer styles and select gradient overlay go into the gradient overlay properties set the style to reflected i'll change the blend mode of this from normal to soft light so we have this nice gradient on top i think i'll bring down the saturation a little bit want to keep it very subtle so there we have a gradient and to take this one step further what we can do is duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate it we can change the color of this layer in order to you know stay organized and go into effects and presets search for mini max set this to minimum and let's increase this to around 10 and set this to alpha and color now let's right click go into layer styles and add a inner shadow go into the properties of inner shadow let's make some room right here set the blend mode of this to i think i'll go with color burn bring down the opacity to 50 increase the distance to around 10 and set the size to around 20. so now we have this really nice depth into our text and now you can see we have a nice reveal but there is an issue that we can face is that because we have an opacity animation and on top of that we have a gradient applied you can see a little bit flickering happening here in this particular area if i set this to half you can see the m it flickers so to fix this a workaround that i found out is to animate this overlay opacity if there is a better option or better way to do it do let me know in the comments below so what i'll do is i'll go right over here somewhere on here set the opacity of the gradient to zero create a keyframe and then go right over here when it all settles down and then set this to 100 and then we can just simply select the keyframe and give it an easy ease so that we don't get any flickering if you still get it you can move and play around with the keyframe a little bit like so there you go also i think i will play around a little bit with the color of this so we can go into fill and let's increase the intensity a little bit like so okay so there we have our text looking pretty good now let's create a main render composition by 1440 press ok let's give it a nice background color so press ctrl y to create a new solid call this bg and i'll give it a nice maybe a purplish tone background for now we can change it later on let's drag in the animation one composition on top just like so there we have our text let's bring down the size a little bit like so okay and let's add a few effects to make it look a bit more interesting so first what i'll do is go into effects and presets search for cartoon effect and that will give it a nice extra layer of shading and details then go into effects and presets again add a transform effect and let's add a little bit of skew of minus seven so it makes it look even more better and then i will use a basic 3d effect and i'll try to animate this so i'll zoom into my timeline go to around 20 frames create a keyframe on swivel go to two seconds and set this to 10. let's set the tilt to minus 10 and let's press u select the keyframe ease ease them go into the graph editor and let's create a peak into the center so when we preview them I think I'll adjust this keyframe a little bit like so pretty cool and also make sure to switch to 16 bits per channel in order to achieve a much more smoother gradients to your overall text then let's also add a nice drop shadow to our text so I'll set the softness to around 5 and the distance to let's go with something like 40 we have this really nice look and finally to sell out this effect we can add a nice reflection so to do that or what we can do is create a new composition with the previous properties that was 3840 by 1080p set this to reflection and what i'm going to do is select the rectangle tool and create a shape like so rotate it a little bit 
and then we can animate it so i'll move it somewhere around here press p to bring down the position create a keyframe go to three seconds and let's move this like so so now we have a very simple movement of the shape and easy ease them of course then go into the shape properties and click on add add a zigzag let's give it a zigzag or something like so and let's also give it rounded corners i don't want to keep it so sharp so maybe something like that then let's go back into our main animation one composition drag the reference composition on top like so let's move this a bit forward in time go into effects and presets search for set matte effect set this to title one effects and mask and then we can bring down the opacity a little bit like so so now we have this really nice reflection going on our text so now if i go back into our main rendered composition let's see what we get and for the background color i think i will make this a bit more purple in tone let's see and there you have a cool creative cartoon style text animation in set of after effects it has that nice 3d feel and looks very very cool so this is how you can use your inbuilt native after effects presets and effects and achieve this cool effect so that is all for today guys if you enjoyed this tutorial do let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this title animation then make sure to check out this complete playlist on title animations there are some amazing tips and techniques that i have covered in all these tutorials so i'm sure you will enjoy them all and with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out